So who are you? My name is Marie Luma, uh, 2015 Avant Fellow uh, from Malawi. And I work with an organization called Dream Program. Dream uh, works out, it's an implementing uh, organization. Yes, we also. <laughs> My name is Anna Miti, I'm a Zimbabwean and I'm a 2015 EVAC Fellow hosted by Pangea Zimbabwe AIDS Trust. I'm a journalist by profession and by training who decided to change my head for a year and become an advocate. So in the first place I heard about this advocacy fellowship from a colleague who was a previous fellow and when he taught me about this fellowship I was like, oh, this is my opportunity for me to, you know, to make an impact in the, in the lives of women women, especially when it comes to HIV prevention. My fellowship has meant that I've learned, I've grown, I have had a wealth of experience um, uh, with young women. What I did not expect to come out from this is that these young women would teach me things about my own life, about HIV, about sexual and reproductive health that I was not even thinking about. And it was such an enriching experience. So in the first place, what I would like to say is that um, I didn't know that I, I was an advocate. It's all because of this fellowship that I, you know, I could, I was able to know that okay, so I'm an advocate. So it helped to unearth the advocate in me, which I did not previously. So it's been an amazing journey. Um, previously, I never used to be that person who could like speak in meetings, you know, contribute my ideas. I was always, you know, I would, whenever I go to a meeting. I'd always, you know, sit down and listen to the others talk and I wouldn't want to put my ideas forward. But because of this fellowship, you know, as an advocate, one thing that I've learned is that, you know, if, you're, if you call yourself you're an advocate, you have to understand that you're not just speaking on your, on your own behalf, but you're representing, you know, um, a lot of women, a lot of people, you know, out there. I would recommend this fellowship to anyone who is interested in making a difference. Because so many times we ask ourselves this question, can I make a difference? What can I do? I'm just one person. But you know what? If you can change one person's life, that is enough. So my advice is that, um, first of all, it's, it's an exciting journey, but you also have to know that it's not going to be easy. Because um, it's not going to be easy, but it's something that's, that, that can be done. It's in, in the, whatever challenges that you're going to meet along the way, trust me, they're worth, they're worth it. Uh, whether be it, uh, you, you want to advocate for HIV prevention for young people, for I mean for elders, whatever it is that you're going to do, to do whatever change that you want to bring in your community, it's worth it. It's 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 going to be worth the struggle.